We'll dive into the details of the charges today and shed some light on the union of Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck. With the focus on Ben's alleged battle with alcoholism, we want to thank you for joining us. But first, when their romance began again in 2021, their admirers had hope that Ben's alcoholism was a thing of the past. But according to recent rumors, Ben is having trouble staying sober especially after Jennifer started her own alcohol company. This choice of Jennifer's surprised some people because she doesn't drink. The subject of whether their relationship is strained because of drinking and whether Jennifer is pressuring Ben to enter rehab in interviews arises. While it's important to keep in mind that these incidents may be exaggerated, Ben's behavior has come under scrutiny due to videos showing him in apparent states of intoxication. Jennifer Lopez has been open about her struggles with alcohol. She acknowledged that it was difficult for her to accept that she had become an alcoholic and worked hard to overcome her addiction. Concerns regarding alcohol addiction were raised by Ben's past struggles with alcohol. After he split from Jennifer Garner in 2015, Ben Affleck's journey to recovery was a roller coaster. Ben experienced relapses and sought treatment, only claimed to be in a good place in a 2020 interview when he voiced his wish for a devoted and healthy partnership. Nevertheless, tales of fights and harmful behavior in his marriage have since surfaced. Some sources claim that Jennifer was frustrated by Ben's smoking and his refusal to lead a better lifestyle, which caused conflicts to allegedly break out over a number of problems, including selling Ben's valuable motorcycle collection without his knowledge. These incidents increased rumors about Ben's alcohol problems, and while some fans praised J.Lo for helping Ben and appearing to keep an eye on his alcohol consumption, Others question the wisdom of exposing him to Hollywood parties where alcohol is commonly consumed. In addition, Jennifer's most recent launch of her alcohol brand has raised questions because it goes against her previous statements that she does not drink. We've been discussing the ongoing rumors surrounding Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's relationships. While some contend that Ben's alcoholism may be resurfacing, others contend that the situation is being exaggerated. Some fans have even suggested that JLo may be purposefully sabotaging Ben's sobriety out of resentment. We should keep in mind that Ben is ultimately accountable for his own choices and well-being. Fighting an addiction is difficult and a highly personal struggle, and support from loved ones is essential but not the only factor in success. It's crucial to keep in mind that addiction is a complicated problem and that recovery may take a lifetime. Although Ben Affleck has been candid about his past difficulties with alcohol and his current efforts to stay sober, it's unfair to put all of the responsibility for being sober on Jennifer Lopez. Recent events that were caught on camera have fed rumors, and some fans are worried about Ben's safety. However, it's crucial to handle these circumstances with prudence and avoid drawing judgments too quickly. While it may seem contradictory for Jennifer to promote alcohol while not drinking herself, it's important to remember that celebrities frequently engage in business endeavors that may not be in line with their personal preference. Paparazzi footage is frequently misleading and misinterpreted as for Jennifer's new alcohol brand, JLo. It's incorrect to presume that Jennifer has bad intentions since she has the right to pursue her entrepreneurial endeavors. Ben Affleck must finally decide on actions to support his recovery. It's important for people in recovery to surround themselves with a positive and healthy environment. But it's as important to remember that recovery is a personal journey that takes continual dedication and support. Today on Factor, we're delving more deeply into the romance rumors involving Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck. When Jennifer and Ben rekindled their romance in 2021, many people will believe that Ben has put his alcohol addiction behind him. But recent events have rekindled concerns about his sobriety. Since fans are eager to learn the truth, let's explore this topic further. It's important to approach this subject with empathy and understanding addiction is a complicated disease that affects not only the individual, but also their loved ones. When paparazzi footage showed moments where Ben appeared tired or agitated, it sparked rumors about whether he's having trouble staying sober. However, it's important to keep in mind that she cannot control or treat Ben's addiction on her own. Some fans have questioned Jennifer's decision to establish an alcohol business because she's been a rock for Ben throughout his recovery path. Despite the fact that JLo herself doesn't drink, it's crucial to understand that people can keep their personal and work lives distinct from one another. Ben's desire to remain sober is not necessarily jeopardized by Jennifer's decision to work in the alcohol industry. People are complex, and their decisions can occasionally be contradictory. In the past, Ben Affleck has openly discussed his struggles with addiction, and he has appreciated the support of his ex-wife, Jennifer Garner. When they divorced in 2015, there were rumors of Ben's infidelity and subsequent relapse. It's admirable that Jennifer Garner offered support both during and after their marriage, 
because addiction is a lifelong battle and relapses can occur even after a period of sobriety. It's important to avoid drawing conclusions from recent instances in which Ben appeared upset or argumentative. It's difficult to determine someone's mental state simply on a few seconds of video. Their emotions and interactions might become more complicated under the burden of fame, paparazzi intrusion, and public scrutiny. Ben must finally take responsibility for his sobriety and make the required decisions to preserve it. Recovery calls for continuing work. While Jennifer can offer support and encouragement, self-reflection and a solid support network are essential. Ben Affleck's alleged alcohol addiction and its effects on his relationship with Jennifer Lopez have drawn a lot of attention. While the truth behind these rumors is unknown, it's clear that both people have faced their own struggles. We hope that Ben can continue on his path to sobriety and find the support he needs. It's important to remember that she cannot single-handedly control or determine the outcome of Ben's journey. While it's natural for fans to be interested in the personal lives of their favorite celebrities, addiction is a deeply personal and private battle that should be treated with sensitivity. And understanding public figures like Ben Affleck are constantly scrutinized, which can amplify the pressure and challenges they face. Maintaining respect and empathy is crucial. In these circumstances, speculating about someone's addiction or relationship issues without clear evidence might feed negative narratives and breach their privacy. People must prioritize their personal well-being while also supporting those around them. There are services available to offer support and direction if you or someone you know is dealing with addiction. Contact regional hotlines, counseling services, or healthcare providers that can help. Let's keep in mind that Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck are amazing artists and people with their own personal journeys, not just by the rumors about their relationship or Ben's prior battles with addiction. Fans and the general public naturally display concern and curiosity about the relationship between Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck, but it's crucial to respect their privacy and handle the subject with care when talking about their lives. People who struggle with addiction require help, and it's important that they acknowledge their agency in their own recovery while simultaneously giving them the care they need. When it comes to high-profile relationships, rumors and speculations are only normal, but we should continue to show compassion for those who are battling addiction.